Planet Dolan. From making an accidental confession of love to your ex-girlfriend's dad, to dialing 911 by mistake, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about our most embarrassing experiences calling a wrong number. My name is Nixium, and today I will be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Syrocall. When Hellbent was 12, he was watching television at his friend's house. His friend interrupted him and said, Hey, your dad called, while holding the phone in his hands. Hellbent was confused why his dad would call because he had only been there for about 30 minutes. His friend added, He said your grades are down, so you have to go home. Out of rage, Hellbent took the phone from his friend and yelled, WHAT THE FUCK, DAD? I'VE ONLY BEEN HERE FOR 30 MINUTES! WHY COULDN'T YOU TAKE MY GRADES BEFORE I LEFT?! After Hellbent finished yelling into the phone, he looked towards his friend who was on the ground dying with laughter. Hellbent was confused and said, Hello? Into the phone. A shocked guy stuttered, Sir, that, 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 that's not a pizza topping. After he heard him, Hellbent immediately said sorry and hung up, and then glared at his friend. His friend had called Jet's Pizza and asked for a cheese pizza, and when the guy asked for toppings, he had given the phone to Hellbent. Number 9 was submitted by Ghosty YT. Zaragamba and Dolan were at the dinner table prank calling fast food places. It was fun at first until his brother said, Hey, what if we prank call Domino's and say that we're stuck in their bathroom? Zaragamba thought it was a great idea, but he accidentally dialed 911, and when he tried to delete the number, he pressed call. Six seconds later, a female operator said, This is 911, what is your emergency? They both sat in silence. Well, I I'm now sending police to your address now, uh, okay? Said the operator, before hanging up. They both sat quietly for 16 long minutes, until they heard a loud banging on the door and somebody yelling, POLICE! OPEN UP THE DOOR! Their mother came out and said, Why the hell is there police here? Then she answered the door. The police officer said, Is there an emergency here? Their mother said, No, there is no emergency. My two sons are just playing on their phones. Then the officer said, Well, I have to search the house really quick and then I will leave. Then the mother said, like hell you are, before slamming the door shut. They were both grounded for five months. Number eight was submitted by Trojan Squid. Sweet Commando had just arrived home from work and he called his girlfriend. It was a really brutal day and he was exhausted. A female voice answered, hello. And he replied, hey babe. We want to hang out tonight. We don't have to go anywhere. We could just stay in. The voice replied, Who is this? Sweet Commando looked at his phone and realized that he had called his mechanic by accident and his wife had answered the phone. He nearly died from the embarrassment. Number seven was submitted by Blake the Loser. One day when Princess Proton was 14, she got home from school and felt a weird pain in her stomach area. She ran to the bathroom and discovered that she just started her first period. In a panic, Princess Proton called the number she thought was her mom's and said, Hi mom, yeah I know you're at work but I, but I just started my period and I don't know what to do. Then she realized she had called her girlfriend's mom who was in her contacts under Mrs. Mom. Princess Proton quickly apologized and her friend's mom understood and said, Hey, I was ready to run up to the store and buy you pads. Princess Proton thanked her and hung up and then called her real mom. Number six was submitted by Toxic Girl 6654 One day Pandora dressed up really nicely and her parents thought so too. Since she didn't usually dress up like that, they told her to text her grandmother a picture. Her dad gave her the number and she took a picture of herself and wrote, Hi Grandma, this is your granddaughter. I miss you and I love you. About five minutes later, she got a text back and the person wrote, This isn't your grandma. Sorry. Pandora is still embarrassed about it to this day. 
Number five was submitted by DJ Logan 100. A few years ago, Civil Spider wanted to call his ex-girlfriend who lived in another state, so he decided to do it. The person on the other end picked up, and before they answered, Civil Spider said, I love you so much, and I also miss you so much. I wish I could see you. And then, a male voice on the other end said, Who the hell is this? Civil Spider recognized the voice. It was his ex-girlfriend's dad. He apologized, and the father gave him the right number. Number four was submitted by La <sighs> Gooby was walking with her little brother and her uncle when she decided to call her dad so that they could all talk and catch up. At the time, her phone storage was pretty full, which made her contacts list a little out of whack. She dialed what she thought was her dad's number. She waited and the phone went to voicemail, and she heard the voice of her crush instead of her dad. She immediately hung up. As it turned out, her crush's number was only one digit different from her dad's number. She hoped he would just ignore it, but he called back five minutes later. Gooby picked up and frantically explained herself. He responded with a simple, It's all good. It's all good. She felt so embarrassed. Number three was submitted by Bella Flanfloff. Snoopy had two people in her contacts with the same name. Dan A was a friend she had made, and Dan B was her manager. She wanted to call Dan A for the first time and dialed the number. When the phone was ringing, a piece of classical music was playing, which Snoopy thought was funny since her friend liked country music. As soon as she heard a, Hello? She was laughing a bit and made the comment, Wow, who would have thought that you had that for a dial tone? She then got a serious response of, Who is this? It was her manager, who was away on his honeymoon. Snoopy quickly hung up and luckily, her manager didn't have her number. Thankfully for her, it was never mentioned when she was at work. Number two was submitted by G-Man 546416. One day, Gergak was leaving his girlfriend's place at one in the morning. He then tried to call her to see if he had left his sunglasses there. His mom was right next to her on the list, and his big thumb accidentally pressed his mother by mistake. She answered, and apparently she had a question for him anyway. She and the rest of the family were playing Game of Things, and the card she pulled asked, What should you not do in public? Gergak was so tired, and he blurted out, Masturbate. Apparently his mom had the phone on loudspeaker and didn't warn him. His dad, siblings, and his uncle were all there to hear it. Not one family member lets him forget it to this day. And number one was submitted by me. So my friend Tate, who is a hitchhiker who hitchhikes across America, one day messaged me on Facebook and gave me a phone number I could call in order to talk to him. Well, the next day I called the phone number. But the thing is, Tate didn't tell me that the phone number wasn't exactly directly to him but rather it was the number of his friend's father who he was staying with at the time. When the man answered the phone, I thought it was Tate, and so I immediately said, Dude, you freaking idiot! Why the hell aren't you playing on me and Ben's Minecraft server? You need to get on there tonight and start contributing to our glorious empire, man! We need you! There was a pause, and then the guy said, Who is this? I then realized my mistake, and I, I I just asked where Tate was, and the dude went and got him. It was really embarrassing, but I loved it. Alright, so a huge thanks to the folks over at our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. But we have another question for you. What is the most embarrassing thing somebody has seen you do? Let us know in the Reddit page linked below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thank you for the support, guys. The grave calls to me, I'm afraid. But don't worry. I shall return.